Holograms make me happy. Shiny stickers make me happy. Rainbows make me happy. Oh, oh, it's too bright. It's too bright. Oh. Welcome back to Stickin' It with Anthony. I'm your host, Anthony Stickerman, and I'm glad you joined me because today I am sticking an entire page of shiny, happy stickers. So it feels like there have been a lot of holidays lately, and I really enjoy doing holiday videos, but I'm finding that there's a lot of pages in my sticker book that are simply dictated by whatever holiday it was. So today I wanted to stick a free page and just stick whatever I want to stick. So what are we waiting for? Let's get shiny, happy, sticking. Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that we are changing our video schedule and we will be releasing a new video every Saturday. We're going to be taking the rest of May off and you can join us back on June 1st. Now this whole shiny idea here started with this unicorn sticker that I got from Banana Peel Stickers. One thing I do want to point out is I am actually sticking right to the cardstock this time. When I stick right to the cardstock, it just looks prettier to me. So some of the biggest stickers I've got here are these sparkly sandy lion stickers. They're giant happy face stickers. Shiny happy sticking. These ones are pearlescent butterflies and they are absolutely just to die for. In real life butterflies are actually scary to me. Ooh, I wonder what the name for fear of butterflies is. This is a gorgeous shiny Hambly gumball sticker. So I'm gonna keep putting some of these big stickers on hypnotized by the stickers there a little bit. Um, ooh, these are beautiful. Now these are Mrs. Grossman's stickers from 1991 and they were designed by Julie Cohen. Thank you, Julie Cohen. These are beautiful. I remember these ones. A lot of people had these in their sticker book. I never did, but now I do. And I think, ooh, it's coming off there. Oh, a little bit of cat hair. Always with the cat hair, my goodness. So I feel like I'm just gonna put the sun right in here. Brighten up that little corner. We don't want a dark little corner. Dark little corner to cry in. Sometimes I like a dark little corner to cry in, not gonna lie, but that's okay. Okay, the moon. I was thinking I really wanna put this moon up here. The unicorn is flying into the moon. This is a gorgeous prismatic, holographic, rainbowy, uh, rainbow and unicorn sticker. It is from the 80s. I'm not exactly sure what company this is from. You can't think of the 80s without thinking of unicorns. I can't think of unicorns without thinking of unicorn stickers. This is the little extra sticker that has the number, a little secret code. I'm gonna stick it. I am going to stick it. It came on the sheet, so I have to stick it. All right, so these stickers, I don't know who made them again. I feel like they could be maybe some dollar store stickers, but I really, really love these hearts on here. They are black outlined, holographic, sparkly hearts and I'm definitely gonna put a couple of those on the page if I can peel them off the backing they don't make it easy and I really like these little ballet flipper stickers you can always use a little splash of pink so these little stickers are pick me pops um, pick me pops are a cool little toy where you get a little surprise kind of thing and everything is really adorable and cute and these ones are holographic so they are going onto this page. I've got a couple more of these beautiful Mrs. Grossman's cupcakes and they were designed by Tammy Lovett Brumfield. Thank you Tammy Lovett Brumfield. So when I was little these stickers would just trip me out and I have to say as an adult I'm no better. I'm, I'm It's no different. They still dazzle me just as much as they ever did. In fact, sometimes when I'm trying to take a picture for Instagram or, you know, take a picture of these holographic stickers, I find that I kind of space out and I, I'm, I'm more looking at the stickers than I am taking a photo. So I do have to be a little bit careful, even choosing the stickers for this video. I'm not gonna admit how long it took, but probably way longer than it needed to. I've got some of these sandy lion butterflies. So the first one I'm just gonna put down with all of its pieces together. But the next one, I am going to take apart. Oh, okay. This is the thing about sticking to paper. 
that is a little bit, I don't want to say stressful because this is our shiny happy stick in video. Sometimes you may stick it down uh, and it's not exactly how you want it. So if that does happen, you can just do your best to try and peel it very gently or you can just try and make it work. I have this awesome little mod of pearly orcas. Orcas in real life are a little bit scary. I'm a bit afraid of the ocean because you never know what's lurking under your swimming legs. This is from actually the dollar store, but they are really gorgeous. And I think I'm going to start with this pink flamingo. I just found out today, if you see a bunch of flamingos together, it's called a flamboyance of flamingos. I think that is super cool and very appropriate because they are one of the most flamboyant creatures I have seen, besides me, of course. Another thing that I have learned uh, in the process of doing these videos is that I kind of like using tweezers for a lot of stickers. Sometimes it's almost impossible to peel them off without. Once I decided I was going to look through the dictionary and every day I was going to pick uh, I was going to learn a new word. I only learned two words, so I only did this for two days. One of the words that I learned applies to this page. The word I learned was coruscating. It means to give off flashes of light, sparkle, or glitter. So this page is coruscating like crazy right now. You're wondering what the other word was, aren't you? Well, I will tell you. Vermicular, which means worm-like. You're eating worms, Michael. See, when you're an adult, you can make the rules. And I recently had my 18th birthday, which means I make the rules. Rule number one, always lie about your age. One thing about these shiny stickers is that fingerprints can really become an issue. Do I love lollipops? I don't know that I do but I love lollipop stickers. So I'm gonna just put a couple more of these big stars on here. I think this page could use a palm tree. I could use a palm tree. I'm a gardener, I do some gardening. Right now, my worst enemy is the aphid. The only cool thing about aphids, and I guess it's not even really a cool thing about aphids, it's more of a cool thing about ants. Uh, ants actually farm aphids, so that's kind of cool. Ants were actually farming long before people were. Now that I've got all my biggest stickers in place, it is time for power sticking. Hey sticker people, I know this is an unfamiliar voice. I am the videographer here at Sticking It With Anthony, and I just wanted to let you know that unfortunately we lost half of the power sticking footage through no fault of my own. Anthony's not here to tell you about it, so you're hearing it from me instead. And here is the finished product. I love how this turned out. It is so shiny. It is dazzling to look at. I should wear sunglasses for this. I really think the stickers look better on the cardstock rather than the plastic. I have a lot of fun doing these sticking videos and I would love to know what theme would you like to see me stick? Leave me a comment down below. I post a new video every Saturday, so make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out. Thank you so much for watching Stickin' It with Anthony. I'm your host, Anthony Stickerman, and for the love of stickers, have a great day. Bye bye I was having a bit of a... Uh, it was giving me the vapors, the vapors. Finicky stickies, finicky stickers. Anybody out there? Razzle dazzle. Ha ha ha